In the software, you have the option of combining several shapes to, for example, obtain shapes with special forms, such as kitchen splashback cutouts, as well as a lot, lot more. There are three types of combination, subtraction, union, and intersection. Let's start with union and intersection, and come back to subtraction afterwards. Let's take these two shapes as an example. If we click on one of the points of either shape, then in the shape drop-down menu, you can see the combine button is available to click on. Here is the result of a union. The software fuses the two shapes and ends up with just one. Let's do the same thing again, but with intersection this time. In the present case, the software keeps the parts that the two shapes have in common and deletes the rest. These two types of combinations are often used for creating workshops with specific shapes and forms. Let's now take a look at subtraction. For this type of combination, it is important to correctly choose the point that you will select. Indeed, you need to indicate to the software which shape is going to be the main one. The one you want as a base, the base from which you will subtract the other shape. Let's select a shape to indicate that it will be our base. Then in the Shape drop-down menu, click on Combine and then Subtract. The software subtracts the other shape, completely deleting it while subtracting the part it had in common with our base shape. Let's now choose the other shape as the base to see what happens. As you can see, the result is different since the main shape is different and the software has taken that into account. The subtraction combination is often used for kitchen splashbacks that require a cutout at the window. This will give you a clean and efficient result.